Even before visiting the Gbawe Gonse and Gbawe Zero area for the first time, I was exposed to the bad state of the roads thanks to the incessant complaints of the residents on the city breakfast show. The complaints, however, felt misleading when we had a smooth ride on a recently asphalted stretch through Gbawe, CP, and Top Bays. Where are the bad roads? Well, it didn't take long to see what the residents have been complaining about. If Gbawe CP and Top Base roads were light, then Gbawe Gonse, Gbawe Zero were literally darkness. The bottom of the mountain was my introduction to the bad roads here. Eroded sediments filled the open drains. The drains were themselves at the mercy of the weathering materials from the mountain top. Driving up the mountain was a daunting task. As one truck carrying blocks up the hill broke down, another descending got lucky this time. Its driver, Mubarak Yakubu, narrates how frequently it breaks down and the expenses he incurs fixing it. Oh, they affect everything. The body and then the engine and exhaust all. So they have to fight the government to come up to repair the road for him. So how much do you spend on repairs? Repairs, okay. They are spent for three days, four days. For, how for, much money? Hey, the money is plenty. They are spent more than 15, 14 million every day, any, every week. If he came here, old currents, 1,005, uh, new, new currents, 1,005 Ghana cities. Michael Ofori, a resident of six years, tells me he has been contemplating relocating. But can he? From uh, that way to, um, how do you call it, um, Gonse, it's very, very terrible. If you get into Agape, there's even, if you don't have a pickup or 4x4, you can't go unless you go around somewhere else. Even all the road in this area is very, very bad. How does it affect you? It affects me a lot. Like even during my work time, I have to sometimes I have to go and pass through um, Anya instead of passing through Bawi. Three years ago, they said they have cut a saw too, and then they brought these uh, military people to come and cut the road with graders. Then that's all. We have never seen anything again. It's very very bad. In fact, sometimes you feel like okay, you have to leave here and then go and stay somewhere. But you have a own building here. You can live here to go and pay another rent somewhere else, whilst you have a property here. But with Zero Road seemed to live up to the name Zero in quality. At Gonse, which literally means behind the mountain in Ga, the road seemed left far behind in development, and the residents here were animated, demanding that development catches up with the Gbawe Gonse Road. Yeah, <laughs> The state of the roads has economic and health implications for the residents. Joyce Young Coombs tells me how. Normally, when I'm coming here at night, 
drivers don't want to come. Boat riders will be complaining and they'll even charge you extra because of the bad road and you spend a lot of money. Most drivers don't want to come. It's really hard on us, especially on our pockets. Charlie, we are spending a lot. It's bad. I remember, yeah, I sat in a, a car with a pregnant woman once and she was complaining that her waist, and the same thing with me, my waist, the cars will be hitting the stones. You see how there are stones everywhere. Cars will be hitting and then your waist will be going all over the place. By the time you get back, your back pains and stuff. It's not easy. It's, not, it's, it's really bad. Her. Yes, a lot. Yeah. And I'm asthmatic too, so the dust. It's really bad. It doesn't help us at all, especially when the sun is shining like this and you're in a car. You're in a car and I'm someone, I can't really wear the nose max all the time because of my asthma. So by the time I'll get home, I'll be sneezing. Oh, it's bad. Though. But Dr. Daniel Sowa is the municipal engineer for Wei Jagbawi. He had this to tell the residents. It is difficult to drive on a bad road. I share their sentiment. But I believe that it, you know it takes time to fix a very good road so that they can just have a lasting road to walk on. I, this will just exercise patient with us. We are, we, are, we are fixing the roads and we'll fix them for their better. Though the news team saw no sign of a contractor on the stretch, Dr. Soa says there is one on the road with instructions to start work by reconstructing the drains. You know, we've completed session of, of that, that section of the road uh, from the cemetery to the police station to Fifth Montessori. Then another contractor is taken from that session to the Gonse. And um, the contractor is on the road as I'm talking to you right now. But he had some challenges with the, with the, with the, with the drainage works over there. So instruction has been given to change the size of the drainage works to uh, uh, 1.2 drains so that it can take up the uh, volume of water that comes. Because any time it rains, you realize the place gets flooded. You realize that the drains are inadequate and um, we are changing the drains. As soon as it's changed, the, the earthworks will follow. They will put the, the ceiling on it. When will this be completed? Um, I, I just spoke to the contractor. They said that they, they, you know, they just finished doing their mode buses, and uh, they are bringing them to site. And uh, uh, it's bringing his, his gang from the another side to the to the Gonse Road, so that I can just work on it. For the residents who live along the Gbawe Gonse Agape stretch, they are looking forward to a speedy start of the of the works on the stretch to ease their uh, movement around. They've actually threatened to uh, vote against the government if their road is not done in good time. For City News, I am Caleb Kuda.